Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Big in the USA podcast. I am the host, Sassy Biggins, and I like to share things that I find that are interesting in the world. And as much as I love to make fun of things, sometimes more serious things do show up when it comes to overall general health. And I'm a big believer or someone who has to live with many, many inverse side effects to either what we've eaten, what is generally accepted in the world, or what pharmaceutical companies are basically shoving down our throats. Like, there's many things out there, I can't take them because of inverse side effects, or they're worse than the actual original problem. So... I was wandering around the internet not that long ago, and I found a lovely little broadcast. You might have heard of it. It's called Inside of You with Michael Rosenbaum, and he was interviewing uh, that guy from Reacher, Alan Richson. Now, he's been an actor who's been around Hollywood for a while. Good-looking guy, buff. I mean, if you've been on Amazon Prime, you know Reacher and how much physicality that guy has, how much muscle he's had to put on over the years. And if you know anything about bodybuilding or even just muscle creation in general, especially for men, you need a lot of testosterone for that. And so, like any action hero, as he's telling his story... He had to keep like extra 50, 60 pounds of straight muscle. That's like both my arms on his physique of how much extra additional muscle he needed to look that buff for that role. And he was contractually obligated to have it. So this was potentially going to affect his income. So the reason he was having an issue. So he does his season, does great. Uh, He had some surgery, as sometimes does happen when you're very physically busy with your job. Things happen. So he had a surgery, and so they gave him some pain reliever. I believe in the interview, he claimed it was a much, much stronger version of Tylenol based in acetaminophen. When he took this medicine, his testosterone plummeted to almost zero. Big dude like that, shouldn't have any issues. Well, because of this medication, T-count goes down. Then the next inverse side effect is the dude can't keep that extra muscle that he got paid to put on. He can't keep it on his body. The testosterone is stopping, or the lack of testosterone is stopping his body from being, being able to keep this muscle on that he needs to make money. So then he had to go on this huge uh T schedule, as they call it, to build up his numbers so he could keep the muscle on that he's working so, so hard to get. Anyone who's ever lifted anything ever knows what it means to build muscle and how consistent you have to be at it. You have to do it on a daily basis. I know I'm like the oddest person to be talking about this, but my dad did weightlifting. All his buddies did weightlifting with him. I used to work on a farm, like two different ones. So Even though I have inverse side effects, I know I had a six-pack once upon a time. I know how much more muscle I had. You couldn't see any of it, but I knew where it all was and how I could basically kick everybody's ass. So, yes, muscle is a very long, dedicated process. And then to have this happen to this dude because of pain reliever? I mean, I know there's this huge crisis right now in America as far as fertility, reproduction. But when you take away someone's right to reproduce or to be hormonally healthy, that's a different kind of warfare that I don't think we've ever seen before, or at least not so regular. Now, I'm not a big fan of conspiracy theories. I like good science, same as anybody else. When the science is speaking in low murmurs, because there's a truth out there that I'm pretty sure some of the bigger companies don't want you to know, because that's how they make their money. Pain relief is a great business, except when bad stuff happens. And this is one of them. Like a lot of the uh, articles that I found, like the impact of acetaminophen, 
to quote from MedShun Prevention is the best medicine, even just their website. Uh, there's this huge study that most of them quote. So the study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in 2015 raised concerns about the impact of acetaminophen on testosterone levels. The study suggests that acetaminophen may potentially reduce testosterone production in the body by inhibiting the action of enzyme called 11-beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase. I hope I pronounced that correctly. This enzyme is responsible for converting inactive cortisone into active cortisol, a stress hormone that regulates testosterone production. And a lot of the other ones also said that this can start in utero, as in when a lady's pregnant and she's taking a lot, we're talking like regular usage of acetaminophen, it can even affect babies in the womb. And that's what they kept on trying to push. Oh, it's only on babies. Oh, it's only on babies. Well, babies grow up to be adults, don't they? And then if you go and watch the Inside of You podcast that Michael Rosenbaum did with Alan Richter, clearly it can happen in adults too. I mean, like I said, they gave him like prescription level acetaminophen, but still, I've had that kind before. When I had my wisdom teeth pulled. Like, what else is going on here? And as the years have gone on, I can't take most pain relievers. Like, when I was younger, I could. Like, I have taken Tylenol when I was a kid. Well, not very often, but it was for a headache. And then as the years went on, I switched to Motrin because I had a lot more muscle pains and stuff, whether they were growing pains or I threw too much hanging bales on the farm or I had to maneuver a sheep that weighed twice my weight for my mother because she had to trim its feet. I mean, I'm not joking about that kind of stuff. I know it sounds funny, but farm work's farm work, y'all. And when something's twice your size and can wiggle, you have to have muscle for that. So you're hurting at the end of the day. So that's when I switched more to Motrin type of pain relief. And I believe it was six Motrin equal one prescription strength Motrin. So are they really keeping an eye out for you, the individual? And then as time went on and hormones are hormones, there are times where I still can't swallow. Like, I can eat a Motrin, but usually I'll pick it back up. I'm just not, I was never a big fan of Tylenol. It wasn't ever strong enough for me for the aches and pains that I had. And then my husband tries Excedrin, but for me, it makes me too dehydrated. It makes me like chronically dehydrated. And at least for me, when I get chronically dehydrated, it causes Charlie horses. But we're talking like Charlie horses that can cause like rips in your muscle and micro tears. So none of it's good. So I'll stick to my uh, massages and ice baths and just trying to be healthy, not eating stuff that'll hurt. So if anyone wants to do any more research on this, please do so. Because testosterone replacement therapy is also very, very expensive. And it could just be your body wants to make it, is making it, but you're getting rid of it because you keep on taking the wrong pain relievers. Or don't take the pain reliever because sometimes just resting is the best medicine. Know what's out there in the world because I know we all want to go along and believe that life is all hunky-dory all the time, but... No, 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 no. The, based on this uh, war machine that we seem to be trapped in, no, it doesn't want peace. It wants constant turmoil and good luck finding your peace, wherever that is and whatever kind that that is. Because sometimes you just need just rest, do nothing, regroup, and try to stay as healthy as you possibly can if. They will let you. This is Sassy Biggins, over and out. Leave comments below. Consider supporting the podcast. Any links will be in the description below. But seriously, if you have any controversial opinion or actual research, please leave it below because I am open to discussion and I'm allowed to be wrong. I am totally allowed to be wrong.
Have a good one, y'all.